Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> For those of you who are new, welcome to my chaos. My name is Stephanie. It is Mass Monday Friends and Ladies Collaboration in the Disaster Construction Zone. <sighs> Y'all, I just... Let, well, we're going to get into a whole lot of stories. I got a little bit of mail. I'm going <laughs> to, I don't even know what's on my table. Um, I had a little minor panic. You guys are like so far away from me because like my whole desk has been torn apart and this is a piece of it that I shoved back in the corner, but my camera is like three times away like that it normally is. Um, let's just, you guys, I had a mild panic attack. I couldn't find my sheet masks because they are literally buried behind like six pieces of furniture. So I was like, that's not a problem. We're going for the dermatology pumpkin enzyme mask. The next minor panic I had is I don't know where any of my mirrors are, but I found this little one, Grogu, that was a gift. Um, so we're going in. I, and you guys, I couldn't find the spatula. Uh, it's... <laughs> So I got a little white wet cloth. It's a makeup eraser here. We're just going to use this tiny little mirror and do my best. So let's get this on. Oh, golly. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I just got it everywhere. Oh, apparently I decided to drag it into my hair. That's not cool. I'm already showered for the day. That'll be fun to clean up. I errant random pieces of hair going here. Um, so yeah, you guys take a look around. <laughs> My little corner of the universe has been, uh, as well as a lot of other places torn apart because we are, uh, finally getting the flooring situated. We had uh, water abatement done and kind of the final to finish all this was just getting new flooring put in and we're starting on it. They've started on it. Um, Sort of. <laughs> if you look behind me, I think you can see some of the subfloor, which is basically OSB and um, sheet. Um, oh no, you guys, I'm making a mess. Some um, plywood sheeting. So yeah, there's that. That's the first step. Um, they got pretty far this last week. I would say they're three quarters done on the sub flooring um but then they have to actually install the flooring and we're putting in a what is it a vinyl plank i guess something pretty durable for this space down here okay so i got this on i'm just gonna um this has a little mild heating effect to it so this is a pumpkin enzyme mask from dermatology I'm going to get it off my hands. I brought some of that. Um, so yeah, so I have this little note behind me that says, don't forget I have my, <laughs> my shelves back here. Don't smash the door into the shelves because the desk is in, not here to prevent the door from swinging all the way around. So there's that problem. Um, I had to kind of tear apart the corner and I got cords everywhere because our Wi-Fi for the house kind of comes in right in the corner here. Uh, so that's a mess because I had to shove everything up into almost the ceiling. Um, and then we have my desk is being utilized for tools. We have some sort of heavy duty screws here. I think those are to go into the wood. Uh, they're called Capcon concrete screws and anchors. We have some sort of drill bit. We have some work pencils, cheat sheet, notepad, uh, looks like a drill bit for these. We have some staples. These would be grip fast, narrow crown staples, 18 gauge, quantity of 5,000. Two boxes of those. We have pro chalk marking chalk, you know, cause you need to snap a line to make sure that you're square to the world. Um, we have a extension cord, some sort of Stanley bow stitch drill bit, something or another here, pry bar, and this thing, hammer that's pretty chewed up, it's been used a lot. I think it's a hammer for hammering on wood so you don't 
destroy wood. But, yep, yeah, I don't know. They're free to use this. I'll just clean it up after the fact. Um, and then behind this is an air compressor with a whole lot of hose and an extension cord. And then the rest of this desk, um, the piece that goes this way is actually like next to the camera, propped on its side. The other half is in a totally another room in another part of the house. I did take down some of this. Um, yeah, and I don't know where anything is. So yeah, it's fun. Okay, so I had a couple pieces of mail. Um, I do not want my hair to get in this pumpkin enzyme mask. So one of these is from Sew Post, thinking this is Pinch Me or something along the lines. Uh, all right, what do we got here? This is, ooh, Medic 8. Oh, I remember this. Yes, this is a new product to try. The world's first clinical strength retinol for under your eyes, which is a little scary because your, your under eye skin is extremely thin and sensitive. So this says from the experts in vitamin A, another retinol breakthrough is coming and you're the first to try it. Ooh. Uh, Crystal Retinol Ceramide Eye is a new a Medic 8 solution to an all-encompassing eye care. Clinical strength retinol meets skin supporting ceramides. Love that. Hydrating hyaluronic acid. Ooh, love that. I, uh, acid spheres and soothing chamomile extract in a nourishing texture that's expertly optimized for the delicate eye area. Approved by dermatologists, it delivers all the age-defying power, blah, blah, blah. Available in three strengths for progressive results. Oh, okay. 100% uh, vegan and cruelty-free, dermato dermatologically tested, ophthalmology tested, gentle and sensitive skin. Okay, the other thing, you guys, I realized is, um, I apologize, I didn't drag this over. It took me like 10 minutes to find this. So I'm really sorry, the first beginning of this, I forgot about this. First part of the video, you probably had a hard time hearing me. Hopefully this is better. Um, God, stuff all over. So, yes, this is Medic 8 Crystal Retinol Ceramide Eye 3. Smooth and Lift Eye Cream Gentle Release Vitamin A. Can you see it? Can you see it? Okay, this is exciting. I'm excited to try this. Let's open this up and see what it looks like. It's a tiny little bottle, but... You know, if you're going under your eyes, a little bit is going to go a very long way. This says it is a half a fluid ounce or 15 milliliters. All right, this is cool. I'm excited to try this. Super excited to get the opportunity to try this. So that's awesome. Keep it away from the tools. Then y'all, I got my scent box. I've had this for, it was been sitting in my post office just a couple days. I went and grabbed it. Uh, just after that big snowstorm we had. <sighs> See if I can get in it. So the deal with Scentbox is there is a monthly perfume subscription or fragrance subscription. And you can choose every month what you want sent to you. And it depends on what you're willing to pay. There are levels. Now I started for almost a full year at just their base level. Tried all the fragrances I wanted to try at that level. I've recently bumped up to the next grade. I think they call it premium. That's what I'm getting right now. It's slightly more expensive perfumes. So you pay the monthly fee and you get all mine are behind the door. <laughs> They're hidden behind the door. You get this little box with your fragrance. Ooh, I like this. Oh, it's pretty. So this is your atomizer. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry. This camera is so far away. So this is the fragrance of the month. This is how much you get. This is basically enough. You are supposed to be able to get about two to three squirts per day for the month before you run out. Like I said, you can, you, when you log in, you have like the, a queue you fill out, you put all the, and this already smells amazing. Um, you just log what you want. And here's the thing. Once you use this up, you can go back in if you like it and say, I want this again in another month. So you can just reorder it when you want. You can just keep trying different fragrances. This is, ooh, Alien. Oh, yummy. Let's see who is the Alien. Oh, it's it's Thierry Mugler. Mugler? Mugler? 
Um, I love the smell already. So then they also give you a card that tells you about the scents of the month. There's usually a his and hers. We're going to start with hers, and it's Selena Gomez. And it's uh, her Eau de Parfum and her name. And it says, in addition to raspberry, the composition's opening includes a handful of fruits such as sweet orange, pineapple, and peach. The heart consists of purple, freesia, cosmone, musk, and dewberry, while vanilla in the base. So that is the recommended scent. They're just basically giving you something that you might want to try. And then for the men's, it's Jimmy Choo Man by Jimmy Choo. It says Jimmy Choo Man is a modern and fresh fragrance that combines aromatic, fruity, and woody notes. It includes chords of honeydew, melon, pink pepper, pineapple leaf, lavender, patchouli, and suede. That is that one. You guys, I'm really sorry about this. I, I warned y'all this is just going to be a hot mess until they get everything done and I can kind of put my office area back together again. I just, it's so bad. So... When you first start out, you get a really nice box, but every month after that, this is how they come. They're shipped to you. I think basically the introductory level is about $15 or $16. I'm bumped up to the premium level. I think it's like $21.95 or $20.95, but here's the deal. So I have a referral code. If you want to try Scentbox, if you use my referral code, you pay your first month the regular price, and then you get your second month for free. So you do get a free month or free one of these, it would be your second month if you use my referral code. Now, if you don't want to use my referral code, you can go on there and they have an offer where you can get your first month for right around $10 a month, um, 10 to $12, depends on the level you want to subscribe to. But I, when I did this, you guys, I used another influencer's um, uh, referral code because I'd rather get a free month than just like five bucks off or six bucks off, right? But the catch, of course, is you have to pay for your first month and then you get your second month, you get one of these free. So what I get is I would get a referral code to get a free month as well. I can just pick a fragrance for free. Oh, you guys, I love the smell of this. This is wonderful. I'm so excited I tried this and I will tell you I'm sure it's got jasmine in it. I always try fragrances that have jasmine in it. So it's Alien by Theory, is it Theory? T-H-I-E-R-R-Y? Theory Moogler? Oh, it smells so good. So I, it, because I can smell it, I'm going to just make sure that it's screwed on tight. So you just twist. I'm going to spray it on. Oh, I love this. Oh. I really get that jasmine note. Oh, I this is going to go into a reorder. I'm going to definitely probably put this for like uh, in my queue for maybe another couple months out and get another one of these because I will tell you I'm going to be using this. I love it. I have a ton of them, you guys, and I have like probably four or five of these at my office and then I have a bunch of them here and periodically I, I just run out and I make a note of, of the fragrance that I'm out and then decide whether I want to reorder that. This one... Oh, I love this. Okay, so if you love hotes, um, notes of jasmine, this is a premium scent, but I, oh, I love that. It smells amazing. So, um, all right, you guys, let's see what else. Uh, we had a major snowstorm <laughs> Friday uh, into Saturday. We got a record setting amount of snowfall um, at the Madison, Wisconsin airport, which is north of me, but um, they broke a record, uh, which was set, I think they said it was in 1971, was 12 inches of snow on that date. Um, and they recorded 12.1 inches of snow uh, <laughs> from that snowfall storm. So they broke a record from 1971, which is wild. Um, the funny thing was, is when um, that video I sent in my shorts, um, later that day, the storm cleared and the sun came out and it warmed up to like 45 degrees. <laughs> That's crazy, crazy weather. So, um, okay, you guys, I... Again, I, as I warned you guys, this is a hot mess and I do not expect to be making a lot of videos during this. It's going to be ugly when I do. You know, like I said, I got notes to the work people. Please don't ruin my stuff. I had to move things around. I had to dig out certain pieces of things. I, my tripod is connected to an end table that I was able to drag out. <laughs> it's just, oh my gosh, you guys. It's a mess. Um, so I apologize. And I hope you guys will stick around. Stick with me. I am. 
hoping there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I would love that if this was done in another week. I would imagine we're at least two weeks out from this being done. If I'm lucky, um, they're not totally done with the subfloor. So they got to finish the subfloor and then they got to actually put in the actual flooring. And that's the stuff that takes a lot of time. And then once they do that, they have to do the trim work. So honestly, I'm not really sure if we're looking two weeks out or another three weeks out, but I'm just glad it's finally getting done. Um, so I apologize, you guys. This is this is going to just be a month of insanity for me. And I, the good news is it's spring. I'll try to get some, if the weather cooperates, maybe I can get some outside video done, you know, show you guys the mess. I Right now it's just all under snow. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys sticking with me. So apologies for, like I said, I didn't realize I did. This is too far away. Everything's a mess. Um, yeah, it's it's just chaos. And hey, lights at the end of the tunnel, right? All right, you guys, have a good Mask Monday. I'm going to go get rid of this um, because they tell you to leave this on for 10 minutes. And I would imagine we're about there. So I'm going to go rinse this off. Uh, recommend this. If you want to use my link down below, Dermatology, I would love that so much. I have a referral link down below. Um, but yeah, have a great Mask Monday, you guys. Have a great rest of your week. I'll see you all on my next video. Bye, everybody.